hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we will be uh, doing another assignment that is assignment number seven that is database triggers and there are two types of triggers row level trigger and statement level trigger and uh, statement level triggers are not uh, compatible in MariaDB so and so that's why we need to implement the row level triggers and we will see how to write a trigger and how we will approach our problem okay so here we have been asked to write a database trigger on library table the system should keep track of records that are being updated or deleted so whatever record that we update or delete it should be uh, stored inside another table that is uh, i had already created those tables two tables uh, let me first show it to you so this is my library table which is basically containing all the records as you can see uh, library this is these are the three uh, records inside the library and this is my uh, backup table so backup table is also the same and whatever uh, record which I will delete insert or update it should be inside my backup table okay so this is basically uh, the use of trigger and trigger is basically uh, trigger is automatically invoked whenever an event is occurred like whatever what are the events like uh, update insert delete so these are the events okay so let's see how we will write our events okay sorry trigger okay so let's me write so first of all what i will do i will let me first drop trigger uh, my trick one if it exists my trick two because i had already done it ah, okay now it's fine now let's write our trigger okay so our first trigger would be first we need to delimiter okay create trigger followed by the name of the trigger suppose i will write my trigger or i will write before update okay before insert okay before insert okay this is and i will specify before or after this is basically before or after so i will first do, do it for before insert or update whatever you need to do so i am doing first for insert on this is a syntax on table name so for each row begin and end okay here what i need to do insert into backup values new dot id new dot name and new dot author because this is new uh, entries that I, I am inserting okay so let's see what i had written that is create trigger before insert this is the name of the trigger before insert before insert on so before or after it is over here whatever you need to perform or whatever row level trigger or before after you need to perform and insert or update or delete these are the three fields that come over here I had done first for insert on library and on the table name the table which you need to perform on the, the operation or the event and then this is the syntax for each row begin insert into backup values these three okay new new basically means a new uh, new value that you are getting uh, that you are inserting in the uh, backup table okay so so as you can see we have our trigger had successfully compiled and queries okay so let's now insert and let's see what happens after our insert uh, event occurs okay insert into library values so for and let's say ds or dsa and let's write puja shri ma'am Okay. So as you can see, our event has successfully uh, occurred. As you can see, the record has successfully uh, inserted in the library table. Let's see our backup, and you will get to know. Yeah, as you can see, Pooja Shri, uh, the backup has all also uh, backup had also stored the record. Okay, so why it is storing twice is because uh, we had used before so when we are inserting before inserting so it is saying before insert insert into backup so this is first time it is inserting 
and after inserting it is also uh, after inserting into the library table it is also inserting again into the backup table okay so this is that's why it's uh, storing it twice okay now uh, now our next what's our next our next is uh, before these are the trigger that we are uh, performing now uh, next is uh, before update okay so same i will perform over here so the over here create trigger my trigger name would be now this time my trigger one so before update and for each row begin insert into backup and here we will write after updating the uh, record the old record would be get stored inside my what backup table okay so let's so it's uh, successfully compiled select uh, sorry we have to update update uh, library set uh, suppose i will set name equal to uh, uh, ds where id is equal to 4 okay so as you can see it has successfully executed our query and row match one changed and one from backup let's see our backup yeah now our backup had again stored the two values that is and let's see our uh, library as you can see it has updated from dsa to ds okay so this is our uh, update now from uh, before delete on this same as it is here we need to it will give us error because our trigger name is same so let's give it as trigger name as 2 now compile it yeah it's now delete from uh, library set where id equal to 4 so as you can see from our backup the again two records are getting stored and from our uh, library the fourth record has successfully deleted okay so this is our before or before okay now we have to use in after so i will use over here instead of before after update okay begin and here i will write update backup set id equal to new dot id where id equal to old dot id so this is my and i will also change my trigger name so as you can see it has successfully compiled update uh, library uh, set id equal to 4 where id was so as you can see it has successfully compiled and let's see our library as you can see id has successfully changed from 3 to 4 and let's see our backup from uh, backup as you can see fourth record has changed from uh, successfully updated okay that was this record okay now same is for after delete after delete update backup oh sorry here we will write delete from backup where id is equal to old dot id okay uh, also our trigger name should be different so let's paste it now and select delete from library uh, where id equal to 4 so as you can see it has successfully uh, deleted yeah and let's see our backup whether it had it has stored or not yeah it has successfully deleted everything id was old id 